talking to Excalibur, CCG TV's Talking Comics. This is for November 28th. That's a Wednesday. It's always a Wednesday. I'm not Mark. And I'm not Randy. My name is Olivia. And my name is Abby. Whoa. She was in the last video. She does work here, by the way. Saturday and Sunday, if you ever run into her. Yes. So. Um, we have two locations, one in Shreveport and one in Texarkana on the Texas side. Um, we film here in Shreveport, so specifically Saturday and Sunday in Shreveport. Um, check us out on our website and our Facebook and our Twitter, which I just found out we had. Um, let's get right into the big number ones. Yeah. Oh, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Okay, big number one. Aquaman Justice League Drowned Earth number one. It is here. All the prequel stuff, I guess, is over. So, Aquaman Justice League Drowned Earth number one at DC, obviously. Writer Scott Snyder and artist Francis Manipal and Howard Porter. Drowned Earth finale. Aquaman faces the truth behind at Atlantis's past and must find a way to reclaim the power of his birthright or watch the flood waters drown everything he has ever loved. With the world at stake and the Justice League on their last sea legs, <laughs> in their battle against the Ocean Lords, Arthur makes the, the ultimate sacrifice to return balance to land and sea. So I guess it, they weren't prequel stuff. They yeah. were just the story and this is just the end of the story. So yeah, check that out if you've been following it. If you haven't been following it and now it sounds interesting, I'm sure there's going to be a trade paperback out soon. Cool beans. DC Nuclear Winter Special Number 1 Ooh. by Paul Dini and good ol' Various and Collie Hamner. Um, the holidays are tough and enough. Good old oh, and good ol' Various. Doing double team, double, double, teaming. double, double work. Double. That double workload? Duty. Man, that workload. That workload. The holidays are tough enough as it is, but when you're living in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, or, you know, 2018, uh, ha, ha, ha. Ha. the world can seem bleaker than ever. So do yourself a favor this holiday season, break out your best eggnog, and enjoy 10 all-new stories featuring the world's greatest heroes, including looks at the future of Batman, Superman, and The Flash, as well as many more denizens of the DC Universe. Ooh, Ooh. DC pulling out those big words. Wow. So 10 all new stories. Not ten. nine, but nope, ten. Nope, 10. And again, I don't know why they call it number one when it's a one shot and it needs to be number one shot. <laughs> How dare. The numbering is so <laughs> off. Dead Man Logan number one of 12. Marvel Comics writer Ed Brisson and Mike Henderson. The writing's been on the wall for months now. Logan is dying. Oh my god. They've been hunting for him and now they found him. And now he's dying. And he ain't getting any better. Sick from the adamantium coating his skin. Skeleton, I think there's a word missed out. Sick from the adamantium coating of his skeleton, his search for a cure has led to nothing but dead ends. <laughs> <laughs> but for once, he's actually trying to leave this world with some unfinished business. Whoa. Can Logan take his last breath without slaughtering the X-Men again? Not if Mysterio has anything to say about it. Mmm. Whoa. Wild. Can he leave unfinished business? Oh no, he's like Punisher. Yeah. He's gotta kill everyone. <laughs> um, Ironheart number one by Eve Ewing, Kevin Labranda, and Luciano Vecchio. Vecchio. Wow. Vecchio. When a group of world leaders is taken hostage by one of Superman's old foes, Riri Williams will have to step up her game. And she'll be stunned when someone from back in sweet home Chicago enters her life. Ooh. 
favorite song, Sweet Time Chicago, Where the Skies Are So Blue. Chicago? That was from a Victoria Justice episode. I doubt you've heard of that. Marvel Action Spider-Man number one from IDW Publishing instead of Marvel. Interesting. Delia S. Dawson and artist and cover artist Fico Osio. Fico Osio. Something like that. Osio. Readers of all ages can get tangled up in these all new adventures of Spider Man and his astonishing friends. Peter Parker has thrown down with deadly villains and legendary heroes, but high school life might be his greatest challenge yet. Ooh. Ooh. Superhero people dealing with unsuper circumstances. Interesting. Luckily, he has a shot at making the grade with a little help from his new friends, Miles Morales and Gwen Stacy. They're also spider people. Mm -hmm. A marvelous new era begins here. Ha ha ha. Ha. So. You get to see Peter Parker doing high school stuff when he's not being the superhero stuff. Usually you only saw that before you got bit by the spider. He was just on a field trip. <laughs> and then no more high school stuff, but now we got high school stuff. Yes. Warning number one. For mature readers. Mm. An Enorm- Oh, by Edward LaRoche. Oh, and he's doing writing and arting and, and cover, cover arting. arting. Wow. He's with Image, by the way. An enormous machine slowly materializes in a major West Coast city. Who sent it and why is a mystery understood only by the malevolent beings gliding silently towards Earth through the inky vastness of space. That's a lot of adjectives. adjectives. <laughs> in response, a multinational combat brigade called Gladiator 26 is deployed. Outfitted with next generation military silent science and weapons they're tasked with stopping an extraterrestrial threat that emerges whoa that's wild wild okay so on to the something old something new um a issue that came out on the 21st that was abby's birthday by the way and the day before thanksgiving hope you had a good thanksgiving um and something that came out like a couple weeks ago so let's start with me, something that came out a couple weeks ago. Vault of Spiders, number one. Vault of Spiders, number two, has come out, and it's one of two, so they should have called it number one shot of two. Ooh. Um, so like the vault, it's like the crypt or whatever. You know, they've got lots of different names, the little scary ladies. You know what I'm talking about, right? I hope so. <laughs> Um, it's a vault of one, two, three, four, five, six, or four stories and one prologue. You got a cowboy, Spider-Man, and the, even the horse wears a mask. A mask. Or just a one mask. One mask. And that's pretty cool. Um, you got Final Galaxy Battle. Oh, and his name is Web Slinger, and that's a terrific cowboy spider name. That's got to be, like, one of the best ones. You got... Final Galaxy Battle, which is like a manga, manga, anime, anime one, where you get the panels with, mm -hmm. that's all sketchy and you can't tell what's happening. You know something epic is happening, but you don't know what that mm -hmm. is. And that one's pretty cool. He's like a ninja. I don't remember his name in that one. Um, Spider Bite. Um, it was like a cyber kinetic one. Like the uh, X Men or the EXE Men. You weren't here for that. You I weren't here for that. Yeah, where it's all like it's all happening in Spider Space, like like Ready Player One. Yeah. Um, Savage Spider Man. You got like Tarzan and a little bit of Danny Rand, and um, kind of like a kid Savage costume. He's really cool. He's like doing a Tarzan thing, and Wilson Frisk is there and Kevin Plunder is there, Dang. so that's cool. It's a bunch of stories and they're all really interesting and cool, and then you got another issue where Aunt May is Spider-Ma'am. Wow, and if that isn't a great name. <laughs> okay, on okay. to something 
new. It's, it's a week old now from yes. watching this, but it's cool. Um, Rick and Morty presents Pickle Rick. Mm-hmm. You know we all love us some Pickle Rick. Yep, and we talked about that last, last episode. episode. Well, now you can read Pickle Rick. Whoa, like the episode? Like the episode, but you can read it. And my favorite part is the little fake commercials in the middle. Took out the commercials and put in their own. That's just nice. so fun to me. But yes, um, it's very nice, very good, very true to the episode. And I enjoyed. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So that's really all we have for this week. Not a lot. We only have like three, no, six things. <laughs> six number ones, and of course, one old, one new. So, yeah. Something borrowed, something blue. There's no blue. There's no blue, there's no borrowing. But you can buy them at one of two locations. Wow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, check out the website, our Facebook, our Twitter. Be sure to like comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications every time we post a new video. Um, alright. I think we're done. Cool beans. Um, chillax, have fun These ho- this holiday season. Oh, we have gift cards, by the way, in case you didn't know. Um, so people are always asking, yes, we have gift cards. In fact, we just got a bunch of new ones, like, printed in. So, uh, you don't know what kind of comic books someone likes but you know that they might want something or it doesn't even have to be comic books it could be a game thing like a card game or um a stuffed animal or a toy it could be whatever anything sold here we got gift cards and i don't think there's a limit on how much money can go on wow so it could be like five dollars it could be like fifty dollars whoa that's wild so anyway gift cards check them out um So, chill out, keep reading good books, we'll see you in the next episode.